feedback. Professor, especially Professor Shukufta Omer, uh, she analyzed the test in, in an excellent manner. She pointed out different mistakes, the options were not correct, some options were correct, options were missing, some spelling mistakes were there. Anyhow, now there is no use to discuss it anymore. Now, the test of that result will be announced within a couple of weeks. After that, those who will inshallah qualify the test, they will prepare for lectureship interview. So now we have to discuss how to prepare for the lectureship interview. So today I am going to start a new series of sessions for the preparation of lectureship interview. And uh, what will be the procedure? I will again contact some experts, some professors, some uh, renowned people of this, this uh, field will provide you with some valuable guidelines, some suggestions for the preparation of lectureship interview. So today uh, a professor, an associate professor, and uh, it, it is said that he is uh, most probably he is the youngest associate professor of the region. He will give some valuable suggestion and uh, I am 100% sure that his suggestion, his guidelines will be of great help for you for the coming lectureship, English lectureship interview. Before that, and then in the next sessions, I will keep on contacting some uh, renowned professors of the region from uh, this city, Mansera, Abedabad, from Shaur, from different regions, from different parts of, the, of, of this province, and they will give you some valuable suggestions how to prepare for lectureship English. Before that, uh, in today's session, before I contact uh, that personality of the day, that celebrity, that uh, you know, professor, I will give you some suggestion. First of all, let me discuss what's the difference between a test and an interview. There are many things which are different. For example, in the test, you prepare many things. Maybe sometime you face good luck and sometimes bad luck. Because you prepare many things, especially I'm talking about the, the test of English. You prepared English language, different branches of linguistics, different aspects of linguistics and literature. And literature, there is in a, a vast area, different period, history, and uh, many different aspects of literature. And as regard, as I can give the example of this test, that was based on just two or three uh, areas, two or three periods of literature history of English literature. So those who prepare just poetry and uh, history of English literature, they might have attempted the test quite well. But those who studied, who really worked very hard for the, in, in the preparation of linguistics, different aspects of linguistics, literature, they studied the thing thoroughly. But the things that came in the paper, they couldn't study that. So this was their bad luck. But this is not the case in an interview, because in an interview, you have to be specific, you have to be focused, you have to select an area, area of your choice, and then you have to be focused, you have to study that thoroughly, each and everything about that. For example, you may be asked about your area of interest. If your area of interest is, for example, linguistics, then within linguistics, there is a specific area where you feel that you are good at. And then, and then you have to study that area, for example, in linguistics, for my favorite area is phonetics and phonology. If the same is yours, you have to study it thoroughly. Each and every thing of uh, phonetics and phonology. In an interview panel, you may be asked about it. And same is the case with literature. So here, there is a chance that you would be asked about your area of interest and you have to uh, prepare that area specifically. And generally, you have to study each and everything. And then your confidence level, your communication, your spoken language, all these things also matter. 
So these were some uh, suggestions, some guidelines from my side, and I will keep on discussing, I think, now uh, till your interview. And uh, now I will like to discuss, uh, would like to contact the personality of the day, an associ associate professor, very talented, very competent, and I am very thankful to uh, Sir that he spared some time for us. And uh, you have to keep those guidelines into into your consider into your mind while preparing for English language interview. So uh, that personality is Professor Ahmed Nawaz. He is associate professor at uh, Government College Abbottabad. He is very competent and uh, the youngest associate professor as I've uh, already mentioned. And today uh, he is with us. Uh, professor Ahmed Nawaz, thank you very much that you spared some time for us. And uh, obviously I'm 100% sure your guidelines, your suggestions would be of great help for the participants, for the candidates who are going to be, uh, appear in legislative interview. So what do you suggest for them? How should they prepare for the coming English legislative interview? Assalamu alaikum. Thank you very much. You have given me a chance to express my views about the upcoming lectureship interviews. Uh, the candidates who have never appeared in any such kind of interview usually feel very hesitant, anxious, reluctant, and uncomfortable. First of all, uh, they need to feel relaxed and confident about the interview. Their self-confidence matters a lot, as it is said that a man wins his half battle through self-confidence. So they need yes. to overcome this psychological barrier. After that, they need to select their favorite area or field of interest, like literature or linguistics. Then within literature, uh, maybe poetry, novel or drama, or within linguistics, maybe sociolinguistics, psycholinguistics, semantics, pragmatics, syntax, phonetics and phonology, or any other subfield because they may be asked about their favorite area in interview. So after deciding about their favorite area, they should go for a thorough preparation of that selected area. They have to appear before a panel of interview. The panel may include four to five members. So they should enter the room in a decent, civilized and graceful manner. Their dressing should be formal. As it is said, your dress should speak before you speak. So your external outlook should be impressive. And all the candidates, they must prepare a brief and impressive introduction of, uh, about themselves because uh, most probably the very first question that will be asked would be introduce yourself. So they need yes. to control their nerves without feeling any pressure in the room. They should understand what is being asked before answering a question. Understanding a question is very important because uh, you can answer a question only once you have understood what is being asked. So their answer should be brief, concise, relevant, and to the point. They should avoid irrelevant uh, answers. Another important thing yes. is that uh, in case of any research background, uh, they must bring their research work in the form of thesis or research paper or article uh, before the panel because uh, the panel also asks about uh, the research work. They ask that, do you have any research experience? Then they can discuss your research work in the interview as well. Uh, so the candidates should keep in mind the objectives, methodology, findings, conclusions and recommend recommendations of their research work or thesis. So if another important thing is that during interview, if uh, the candidates, they can't understand what is being asked, they can ask the panel to repeat the question. And if they don't know the answer of any question, they should be honest in confessing that they can't recall the answer. This is not a demerit, this is a merit that you are confessing uh, about your ignorance about any question, maybe. So this is all about uh, the preparation of for the interview. In short, we can say that uh, in a nutshell that don't feel hesitant, overcome this psychological barrier, select an area and work on it.
feel relaxed during the interview and answer questions in a brief and concise manner. Your answer should be relevant. And at the end, thank the panel and leave the room in the same graceful manner. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor uh, Ahmed Nawaz. Uh, your guidelines are obviously valuable and very important for the participants who are going to appear uh, in the coming lectureship interview. And dear participants, dear viewers, dear uh, students, I hope that uh, these you will act upon, you will prepare your interview the way Professor Ahmed uh, Nawaz has told you. So, inshallah, in future, I will try to contact some more experts who will give you some more guidelines for the preparation of a uh, lectureship interview. And as regards the material, we are already taking classes, we are online classes, I am taking online classes and then in worship group. The material is the same. Now you have to be specific after uh, the test result, if you uh, may Allah be so, Allah kare so, uh, if you qualify the test, then you have to be specific, as I have told you earlier, and Professor Sab has uh, explained the things in detail. And uh, you have to be specific, you have to be focused. And then we have to prepare the same thing, the same material. Material is the same, the things are the same. Now you have to be confident, you have to remove your hesitation, and then you have to prepare for your leadership interview. Inshallah, in the next video, with some more guidelines, some more suggestions, with some more personality, some uh, other expert or professor of uh, this uh, field, uh, I will bring some more guidelines, suggestions for you. Till then, I love you. Thank you very much.